Hello there, my Sagittarius Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Sagittarius? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. Damn it, Sagittarius, before I even started y'all's reading. You know what I was singing? Sagittarius, Sagittarius. So, you're either dealing with an Aquarian or you're, you're, you're stepping into your Aquarius energy, whatever's going on. I'm feeling you strongly in that uh, <coughs> beautiful star Aquarian energy. So, I'm loving that for you, Sagittarius. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful Sagittarius Collective. Now I've noticed that Queen of Swords. We've had the Three of Pentacles. We've had the Justice card. Ten of Cups. Contracts. Verbal. Written. Familial. Contracts. Contracts. Knight of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Sign-in contracts. Offer in the making. The Tower card. The Tower card's like that Ace of Wands energy. So that's just more about like exponential growth. Five of Wands. Oh, this is also giving me the energy of a stock um, splitting. Ooh, you got a very interesting energy. Uh, Ace of Wands, a tower, and that Five of Wands. That's more like uh, putting things into action. Uh, getting things together. Speedy like quick. Like quick. Ace of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Queen of Wands energy. Sagittarian. There you are. What's above this? Judgment? Will of Fortune? The Hierophant. Bridging the Hierophant, the Queen of Wands is the Ten of Pentacles. Like a like a stock. Splitting and dividing. Yo, you gain more. What the fuck is this Knight of Pentacles energy? Ten of Wands with the Three of Pentacles. Combining. It's combining and then like switching. This is like um, something's coming together. You're joining something and then it's going to get kind of separated up. What's over that Ten of Pentacles? The Ace of Pentacles. Whatever the fuck this is, is going to be amazing. It's going to be quick and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a lot of quick decisions. So that Ace of Swords, Two of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands. This is going to be, you're, you're going to be making some pretty quick decisions. Um, some of you know what this is, though. You've been working on this for a while. Empress Energy. You've been working on this for a while. So you kind of know what you want. You kind of know what to expect, but you're just waiting. Uh, you could be in negotiations contractually with somebody. Whatever it is, you're ready for it. Four swords. Four cups. Six of swords. Four of wands. Whatever this is. You could be moving from one place into another. 
it feels like wherever you're going, it's going to like split and, and there's going to be multiple opportunities. You know what I mean? So this would be like, um, this is giving me like five separate streams of income, streamlining things in, ten of wands. It's like a diversification because I'm getting that energy of a stock splitting and dividing. So you get more for like free, um, uh, and it just generates more. And it's going to be very, very quick. Now, those of you, if you don't do the stock market, you don't do anything like that. Which, I don't even know shit about that. But I do remember, you know, stock splitting, dividing, and you get more, right? However the hell all that shit works. Some of you in the... Uh, here in the tangible world... Things are definitely going to work out for you, because you got a lot of you got a lot of spiritual protection up there. The judgment, the hierophant, that will of fortune. Whatever the hell your your who your ancestors are, your faith, your trust, and your belief. Damn, they're watching over you. Uh, four of wands, four of swords, four of cups, and knight of pentacles. And and but you've been working on this for a while. This feels like one of those instances where, oh, you could, uh, you like create the company and then you sell it off, right? Um, it's like you're going to get such a great opportunity. What's between the four of cups and the motherfucker? The four of cups and the four of wands is the four of pentacles. Four, four, four. Damn. Whatever it is, is going to come in. It's like it splits, divides, and goes off. And then there's organizing, putting things together. What's that? Five of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Uh, figuring out how things are going to operate. Ace of Cups. You're going to be doing whatever the hell this is. This is going to be something that you fucking love to do. Because it feels like one kind of spins off into five. You know what I mean? Um, five different areas of your life. It's like things are just going to get better. Things are going to get better all over. I'm going to throw a song on this. Uh, nobody does it better. Makes me feel sad for the rest. So, I, whatever the hell you're doing, keep fucking doing it. I think you're you're making smart moves, but you're going to get a spirit uh, blessing here. The judgment, the higher font, and that will of fortune energy. But it's like once it, once it takes off, it's just going to go. And you're going to be making some really quick decisions. This could be work related, but for some of you, it's like it's it's almost like life. It's like your one one smart decision you've been working for just kind of shoots out. The fingers from it are going to be so good. It's like you know uh, you're going to be able to just really sink in there and grasp hold of whatever the fuck it is you were reaching for. There must be fifty ways to leave your lover. But that looks like a book cover to me. So some of you, this could be books, tapes, TED Talks. I don't know. It's like everything's going to split, divide, and it's going to be so good. <sighs> what, work, love, life, health, finances? It's like all five areas. You're going to grab that fucking brass ring and go. But you're going to have some quick decisions to make. Ace of Swords energy. I think you know what it is you're doing. I'm seeing you represented here in the Sagittarian. So 4444, four, 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 you could be seeing fours. You went without in order to create. So that that's the... This isn't like... It's part luck, but it's also part like timing. This is, you know... You were in the right place at the right time, or some of you knew to do what you needed to do, be at the right place at the right time for the opportunity. 
But it's like, it, it's that little extra blessing. You went without in order to kind of save to create, in order to build that foundation. But you've been actively doing this the whole time. You're in Empress Energy, so you're the one that's making the calls here. You're the one that's making the calls here. What's the bottom of the deck? Two of Cups. Now we had there must be 50 ways to leave a lover. Yes, yeah, some of y'all are going to be moving, leaving somebody. And you're going to be happy as fuck doing it. And someone's going to be sad to see you leave. This could definitely be work-related. I mean, I'm going to be serious with you. You're protecting your happiness, your peace. But you're going to get an opportunity, and it's just going to be like, boom. Boom, shakalaka-laka. Oh, what, what's that song? Walk the Dinosaur? Boom, shakalaka-laka. Boom, shakalaka-laka. Walk the Dinosaur. There is so much beautiful energy here, but it's the right place, the right time, being persistent, doing without, doing what you need to do. And it's like Spirit's going to bless you here at that judgment, that will of fortune, that higher font right there at the top. Because you took your time. You were smart. You were very patient. Page of Swords, Two of Swords to the Hermit card. You were very patient. You were very patient. You might have been a little worried about the timing. This is that sort of energy of if you build it, they will come. So Sagittarius, whatever the hell it is you're working on, it's working. Yeah, you're going to go up to boss status. Um, it's like diversification is really what I'm getting. Splitting and dividing, but in a very positive energy. It's like the right place, the right time. The right place, the right time. And some of you might be a little worried about your timing right now. That nine of swords with that hangman energy. Just be patient. You're going to know. It's like the opportunity has got to find you. You just have to be like ready. You know what I mean? This is like being ready uh, for when you need to do what you need to do. You're going to boss the fuck up. Because I'm not seeing this emperor and empress as being like a couple. I see this as being you. So this could go from being like uh, middle management to upper management. It feels like whatever the fuck is going on, you are definitely in, in your power and control right here. This is boss move energy. It's like diversification. There's, there's five different things that come off of it. Consolidating. Consolidating and then splitting up in order to make things work. If it's dealing with the person, person, place, or thing, I mean, that could be it. You've just been waiting long enough. And then you're going to get the opportunity. But this feels like your energy. That feels like your energy. You're just bossing the fuck up. This is going from middle management to upper management. Right place, right time. Focusing. But you've been focusing. That's the thing, though. This isn't like, uh, you, you had everything ready to go. You've been doing the work. You've been laying the groundwork, right? This is like you've just been doing it. You're just waiting for the right moment. You've just been waiting for the right moment. I mean, I know some of you are thinking this is like finding a partnership. And maybe for some of you it is. But I feel like this is you going this alone. I really do. You're going to make that decision and Spirit's going to come down and bless it. <coughs> now, those of you in a joint venture with somebody, I mean, that could be the Emperor and the Empress energy, right? Two people working together. But I really feel like this is solely your energy, Sagittarius. 
This could also be someone watching you to come in with this opportunity. It's like five different areas it's going to like shoot off into to do what you need to do. Diversification, splitting and dividing, but in a positive way. That Wheel of Fortune has given me like that, that firecracker wheel. You know, I don't know if you can still buy them or not, where you kind of tap it into a piece of wood and you turn it on and a firecracker spin it. That's really what I'm feeling off of this. Celebratory energy, like the luck. Uh, I'm getting like uh, Asian, Chinese type vibes off that. So some of you could have, uh, maybe you're into Buddhism or uh, heavy in the uh, Chinese astrology, the year. What is, what is this? I forget what year we're in. Is it rabbit? Like the Chinese zodiac. Chinese astrology. Chinese, Asian. Wow, Sagittarius. That's some beautiful energy. Stay doing what you're doing. You're going to know when it's time to do what you need to do. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ling a ling. Now I look down at this five of swords. You're gonna know when to do, but you got somebody watching you. So somebody's watching you. You're gonna outlast the others. Whatever the hell it is you're doing. If this is a standoff type energy, right, where you're just kind of waiting to call somebody's bluff or somebody's waiting for you to do something so that be mindful of getting impatient. I want you to be mindful of getting impatient. That's what that fucking nine of swords is about. Be mindful of getting impatient because this is about time. Not rushing, you know, some things just take X amount of time. Don't get impatient here. Because you definitely do got somebody watching. Uh, Business-wise, whatever the fuck this is, you got somebody watching to, to kind of see if you're going to last or outlast something here. So trust your gut, your guidance, your intuition. If you're having doubts, pray on it. Because you, you got these three beautiful babies watching over this whole situation. Judgment, the Hierophant, and the Will of Fortune. So Spirit's going to let you know when it's time to do what you need to do. Can't see that Nine of Pentacles energy, but I seriously feel, for a lot of you, this is just an upgrade in energy. This is like you started on the floor, you worked up to middle management. This is going to upper, upper management. This is you encompassing all three of these beautiful cards. That's what it feels like. I feel like it's you. But you do have somebody watching. Because you were the queen of wands here. That's somebody that maybe you're in competition with. This could be a business adversary, life adversary, whatever the fuck it is. Whoever the hell this is. Like someone's watching you to see what the fuck you're doing and wondering why you haven't done something. While others have already, uh, you know, given up. This is stamina. This is having faith and trust. Who the, who the, f wait a minute. I know y'all already asked who the fuck is that Five of Swords. Let's see who the hell this Five of Swords energy is. The Five of Swords is that King of Wands energy. So this is someone who is technically like in your same sort of energy. Um, I don't think it's nefarious. It's just, uh, it could be your business adversary, okay? Queen of Wands, Seven of Swords, the Hierophant and the Judgment. Yeah, that's you with the upright. So it feels like don't, don't give up yet. Whatever the hell you're going through, just keep hanging in there. You're going to know what the hell to do. You're going to know what the hell to do. This is trusting the timing to spirit. Okay? You're going to know what the hell to do. And when it's time to do it. Because you're in that, you're that like five of swords. So if someone is watching you, they're watching to see what the hell you're doing. You're outlasting the others. Right? Nobody does it better. It's that Will of Fortune energy. 
So, stay stay on the trajectory you're on. Stay on the path you're on. It's like a split and divide. And it's to your benefit. Okay? So, keep that up, Sagittarius. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. Oh. Peace, love, and life, Sag.